Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a tag video again and as you know I love doing these and I thought I have done this tag but I have looked in my amongst my videos and I didn't find it so I guess I haven't done it and this is the makeup mess tag and this is from spooky lips and fat hips Lacey I love Lacey's channel and she made this tag and I think I have seen it on her channel but then I didn't do it and I have seen it some other places and I was like I have to do it so this is the makeup mess tag and this is 15 questions and I'm going to answer them and I will leave Lacey's channel and video down in the description and also the questions so I can leave Lacey's channel up here as well so we just get started how often do you wash your makeup brushes and sponges and my makeup brushes like a real deep clean with shampoos and stuff like that not as often as I should. I use this <laughs> Color Swift. It's not a real one. This is like a cheap copy or something like that for like a couple of dollars only. This I use <laughs> like every time I'm doing my makeup. And then sometimes I use this alcohol spray and to clean them to get like all the colors away. But they still look messy. It doesn't clean them should and that I do maybe once a week and like the real deep clean maybe once a month I need to do that more often but my sponge like my makeup sponge this I clean off before each use so I think I should clean it now while it's still wet but when it dries down and then I clean it before I use it the next time so the sponges I'm really good at cleaning but the other brushes like my eye, eyebrow brush should clean that once a week I do not next question how do you organize your makeup collection I have uh, Alex Hooch and I am Swede so Ikea is in my blood so of course I have a Alex 5 drawer and I also have a um, table with a drawer underneath that I store my base products and my face brushes and then I have, and that's my mirror, I have these Muji drawers with lipsticks and some other acrylic thing. And this acrylic thing with palettes. And here I, where are you? There. With the mists and stuff and palettes and my brushes. I brushes I use in this. If you want me to do a makeup collection, I can do it. I just have to get some more orders. But... That is how I organized and my dream is when my boyfriend and me moves to a house, when we finally will buy a house and move, I will have one room that is only mine with like my makeup and my clothes. That is my dream. Question number three. Do you put your makeup products away after you're done using them or you leave them out for tomorrow? The only thing I have... The only thing I never put away is my eyebrow things because I use them every day before work. But otherwise I'm pretty good. Now I have so many new palettes and I don't have any place to put them. So now there are always palettes on my table. But usually I am pretty good at doing that. Question number four. Loose or pressed powders? And I love the pressed powder. No, the loose powders. I have a pressed powder that I really like. But mostly I use a low loose powder because right now I'm using this um, Ordinary Serum Foundation and I don't need to set this. So I use it, I use only a low loose powder to put under to fix my concealer underneath my eyes. So mostly loose powders but I have some um, pressed that I like but I love loose powders for my face. Question number five, do you ever feel fall asleep without taking your makeup off? And no, I do not. I am very strict on that because I love skincare and I love taking off to my skin. So I love, or maybe not love, and maybe not always, but yes, I always take away my makeup before I'm going to bed. 
if I have makeup on. Um, because I don't want to wake up with makeup on and I don't want it in my bed. So yes, I always take away my makeup before I fall asleep. Question number six. What makeup rules do you like to break? And I... I usually don't do it as often, but I like to break this rule with You can't have dark eyebrows if you have blonde hair. I would not have so dark eyebrows, but sometimes I do, and I don't give a shit. And also you can't have like a strong lip with a strong eye. I don't care. I like to break that rule. Okay, now today I don't, but <laughs> I like to do it. Maybe not always, but I hate that rule. Question number seven, will you use the product even if it's cracked or broken? And that depends. I have a lipstick that I really love. I don't know which one it is and I don't I don't want to go through all my lipsticks right now. But I have a lipstick that is off. It's not this one. Off here, so I just pressed it together. You can just have it like this when I paint my lips. So that one I keep using, but a cracked eyeshadow. If I love the eyeshadow, I will try to repress it, but if I don't like it that much, I will not use it. And I think it's the same. I usually don't crack products because I don't drop them as often. Um, but I try. If I really like the product, I will try to fix it. But if I don't like it that much and it cracks and it's hard to use, like maybe blush, I will throw it away. Question number eight. Do you wait to pen a product completely before you place it? And no, I don't. Um, with face primers, I usually do. And also with eyebrow products. I used up an Anastasia Beverly Hills brow made. I did that. Um, so eyebrow products, yes. My eyebrow product I have now is from Kat Von D. And it looks like this. It got a pretty big pan. And I think I will use this and until it runs out. Because I think it's a good product, so it depends. Eyeshadows, no. Primers, yes. Foundations, mostly yes. So it depends on which product it is. Question number nine. How do you feel about sharing makeup? And this depends on what kind of makeup. Mascaras, never in my life. Like a pen, yes, because you can sharpen this and it's clean when you have sharpened it. A lipstick, yes, if we use lip brushes, um, a powder, yes, a foundation, yes, if it's like this pump, um, but nothing like, nothing like a concealer if you dip it, dip it in and put it on your face and then dip it in the container again, no, so nothing that can be contaminated because you don't want anybody else bacteria. Question number 10. How do you feel about buying or trading used makeup? I don't buy used makeup myself. I don't think it's anything wrong with it. If it is a product that you have used a couple of times and you want to sell it because you don't like it, it's okay. I think it's okay with powder products and pens. The products that you can sterilize, I think that it's okay to sell. Not everybody has that much money that they can buy new makeup products all the time. So I understand if you want to buy used makeup. I do not do that myself, but I don't have anything against it as long as it's sanitized and as long as both parties is up for it. Question number 11. How often do you declare makeup? And maybe once a year or something like that. I wish I would be better at it. Even though I don't like a product, I put it back in my drawer and I don't know why. Mm, and with foundations, I usually use them up. But sometimes it's just a little, little tiny bit left and then I don't use it up. I open a new one. And I don't declare this like 
foundations that have one or two uses left. I don't know why. I just put them in my drawer and they lie there until they get old. Question number 12. Do you use your fingers to apply makeup? And no. I don't like it. Sometimes maybe an eyeshadow and I use my eyeshadow primer is the only thing I apply with my fingers or I take it on my fingers and then I tap it out but nothing else. I don't like it. I The fingers feel dirty and I don't think it's as good as good brushes. Question number 13. What products if you if any do you hoard in your purse bag backpack etc. And I think hand creams because I got such dry hands and also lipsticks. I always <laughs> take the lipstick I'm wearing with me and then I leave it in my bag and then I forgot about it and then I take another one. So hand cream and lipsticks. Question number 14. What is your least favorite step in your makeup routine? And I think I usually say eyebrows because I don't like doing my eyebrows. But also like sometimes I hate doing my base. It's so boring to do your base. It's more fun with the eyes. Um, so maybe base or eyebrows. So the last question, question number 15. What is your worst makeup memory? And I know I have answered this before and I don't know if I had any then. I can't think of any now. I don't think I have any. So I think we'll leave that question as that. Right now I can't think of anything. If I come up with something super good, I can leave it down in the description if I come up with a super bad makeup memory. But right now I can't come up with any. So that was this tag and I love doing tags and as, as I said in the beginning and I really hope you liked this video and if you want to do it yourself I leave the question down below and also check out Lacey that is the creator of this tag. So I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't will miss any of my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!